Hi folks, I'm Terry Tripler. Today is Tuesday, December 9th, and this is my view. Yesterday, United Airlines announced a program where non-elite members of their frequent flyer program may purchase the right to use the expedited lanes. Uh, for $25 each segment, you may use the expedited lanes at security aboard the aircraft sooner. Again, it's up to you. Do you want to pay the $25 and, and be expedited through? You can pay the $25. It's, it's being rolled out in certain cities, and uh, it, it's, it's like, a test trial, a test run, and we'll see how it works. But again, it's up to you. It's you don't have to do it. Uh, but when I read it, and I thought right away, well, that's like the freeways. We have some freeways here in the Twin Cities that they have high occupancy uh, freeways and high occupancy lanes where you come into town during the day and out of town at night, uh, and it's free if there are two of you in the car. But if there's only one, you can have a sensor put on your dash and you can pay to be in that high occupancy lane. Uh, so you can get home a little bit quicker. So it's up to you. It's strictly up to you. Do you want to pay to get rushed through the freeway? Get pay to get rushed through security? That's up to you. No one's forcing anyone to do anything. Uh, but of course, when I saw that, I knew right away there'd be somebody complaining. And today, in the Association of Retail Travel Agents newsletter, and I quote, uh, they say the premier line, is free to elite members of United's Mileage Plus program, but if you aren't one of the lucky ones, the lucky ones, I've never felt that anyone who has become an elite member of any frequent flyer program is lucky. They have traveled a lot of miles. It doesn't matter who bought the ticket, whether they're traveling on company time or company money, they have traveled a lot of miles, they have accumulated the miles, and they have earned their elite status. So to call them lucky, I think is out of line. It's almost one of these, somebody has something that I don't have, so I don't like them. But I think this is a fine program for United. Uh, to, every airline is looking for a way for people who want to pay for certain services, may pay for certain services. I see nothing wrong with this. Uh, the end of the article uh, simply states, paying for the use of toilets is not far away. I don't think there's ever going to be a situation where the airlines are charging for paying for the use of toilets. Uh, that is just not going to happen. But again, if United wants to charge, let them charge. If I want to pay, let me pay. What is the big deal about this? I don't see a problem. I'm Terry Tripler, and that's my view.